Yes. Right. Oh, shit. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm fucking so pissed off. Legit. Um, right. So, Nick Nick News. This is a special. Right. First up, we got our honourable mention from the lovely Mrs. Doubtfire. Breaking news. Notorious ex-career criminal Dave Durance is still embroiled in a back and forth with Laura, screeching shepherdess. He was recently vindicated of threatening her with violence. It was actually his ex he violently threatened her with. While the Gran, Pearl with opinions as old as her drawers, says she will be reattending the upcoming creative bash. After all, it's her party and she'll go one. if she wants to, whether she's been asked or not. Alex BRB whilst I drop trow Britain was going at Zach to Brat yesterday. His usual brand of Stonewall facts was absent of structure and full of hot air. Jealousy isn't a good look, dear, and green is definitely not your colour. This just in and in related news to Moo Lash entrepreneur Mamakaz accosted Zach Debrat late last night. What started as a rant and a flurry of accusations ended in an on screen battle without the coins. Happy Friday, dear viewers. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy the fireworks. And then we've got another one from Miss Baguette. <laughs> Listen, Zach, stop trying to make listen happen. It's not going to happen. Okay. If you even knew how mean she really is, is it too you know that I'm not allowed to go live at 10 a.m., right? Yeah. She told me two months ago that 10 a.m. was her thing, and I wasn't allowed to go live at the time anymore. What's she gonna do when Miss J decides that she wants to keep that 10 a.m. slot? <laughs> Is J will probably become the next target? It's so sad. <laughs> and you know she's just on Simon, yes? Every Sunday before resets, he thinks she's doing bag and prep, but really, some. she's clever hacking up with Alex Brigham in the Discord much at about the auditorium. I never told anybody that because <laughs> just she's to bring such up a bit a of bad friend. In such a shit situation. Oh, Angie, you were in it. <laughs> you were in it. Um, yeah, it's honestly like it's. I've needed to get it off my chest because you know, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, it's just it is like Tyrone said. It's like an elite. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting. Um, and they have so much control. Um, and people like people wonder why. Um. What do you mean the sound? Is it shit? Hold on. Testing. Oh no, it's all right on my end. Um, what's distorting? The, what 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 bit's distorting? Turn what down? Is this loud? All right, let me turn it down more. Or you can always turn your phones down. Jesus. <laughs> Honestly. Um, I, think, oh, I think the comments are delayed. Sorry. <laughs> right. Um, yes, pudding. Right. So we'll start off with Mama Kaz's rant about me last night. Hey, guys. This, this is, is what Mama Kaz reclaiming her power to do because i've stayed quiet i've let things unfold i've sit the fuck back and i've allowed people to tear me the fuck down to the point like i've just said i don't want to come in here and i'm and you know if i get upset tonight it's not because i'm weak best no it's not because i'm weak it's because these people have tried their utmost best to destroy my mental health before i even get into this this is now um being taken to the police because if it wasn't i i'm gonna be real with you okay you don't want the old mama kaz i would have jumped into the nearest fucking uber and would be outside this person's house so for the sake of my mental health and the sake of me not going into prison okay i've had to do what's right for me end of <laughs> um no bob 
One second. Oh, we've got a restriction. Um, so yeah, let's go into it. So I'm gonna be discussing somebody, okay, that a lot of you love on here because so many of you has been emotionally manipulated, which seems that have... emotionally manipulated projection. Happen a lot, a lot on this app, okay. Now because you have been emotionally manipulated to like this person mm. and because unfortunately a lot of you are so weak-minded and cannot see oh. um when someone is wearing a mask on this app and i've come on this app time and time again told you about certain people you guys go against me and in a few weeks to come in a, f in a years to come it's like mama kaji was right again so before you lot sit there and think the sun shines out this person's asshole and they're the nicest person ever and they don't do no wrong, okay? And they get I away with- I never claim to be a saint. I never claim my shit don't stink. I've made mistakes, but I've owned them and moved on and grown as a person. Murder, I'm gonna tell you how I feel, okay? Because no one can tell me- We know, you've been telling us for the last three weeks. How I feel and tell me what I have and what I haven't gone through, all right? So is my cats. Now, like I said, if you want to stay here and watch this, you can stay here and watch this. This is just me speaking out and telling you how I feel. Okay. So, tell us. This is about Zach the Rat, okay? And I call it's him Brat. Zach the oh, Rat. Oh, do you know what? I hate it when she can't pronounce her bees. Oh, it's Brat. Not Rat, Brat. Oh. Gosh. For exactly what a rat does. You go around nibbling cheese, okay, the same way you nibble out of people, then run off like... Can't eat cheese, got IPS, fake news. A big, fat pussy hole, because that's oh, what you are. body shame. Did we body shame? Okay. You have targeted me for weeks on end, off and off social media, right, dragging me down to the point, like I've just said... Because you're a... Yeah. I no longer want to be here because my mental health is been affected to levels that I can I can't even begin to exp Well not that much that you're coming on live ranting about it. Mm -hmm. Explain to you, all right? So all of you people that think this person is such a lovely person, I'm going to explain to you a little backstory, okay? Because enough is enough now. Oh, I am not going to sit f sit and feel threatened and feel silenced because someone is threatening me behind the scenes. If you speak out, if you do this, I'm going to expose you. I'm going to... like your circle of best mates that you have. Okay. I do this to it's not happening you've got this as viewers completely all the way fucked up you all have it completely wrong You're you may wrong. not like me that's fine you don't have to like me but Big what up. i've Thank gone through really is not okay all right not so okay. let me just give you a bit of a timeline timeline so a year ago mm -hmm. i was given information by Thank another you, person on this app that um shared to me that this person that gave her the information was led to believe everything was true at the time until they did their due diligence and they found out it was a load of bullshit and they were in fact manipulated as well into believing that i was this scamming person because the person that i was meant to have scammed they showed their true colors and they realized what was going on Mm -hmm. This person, uh, collapsed nostril, okay? You want to sit there and call me sausage lips? Let's talk about your, your right nostril that's collapsed because half of your money goes to sniffing <laughs> up you know why up she's, your fucking Do you know why nose? she says about my nostrils? Because I said on live, because she watches, Hi, Mama Kaz, how you doing, pudding? How you doing? Um, I said um, that I was quite conscious about my nose because obviously the amount of packet I've done in the past, I've been very open about my addictions and my struggles very open because by me being open and having a platform that I do hopefully that can help other people do you know what I'm saying all your gingivitis gums that are red roaring in flame because of how much you sip on your fucking straw we can all be nasty we can all drag down people's looks right all you've done is try and attack me, attack me, attack me, attack me in such a sly, narcissistic fucking way. Mm -hmm. And you don't say, oh, I use the word narcissistic because you are a narcissist. You are the definition of one. You're a sly little fucking rat, okay? That sits there, antagonizes people, and you're trying to twist this narrative like, oh. No, I sweetheart, I just say it how it is. Thanks for the subscriptions, everyone, and the gifts. I just say it how it is. I've 
done nothing wrong. I'm an amazing person. You are now using your little shit show, your little shit fest show to attack me, okay? To create a narrative, a false narrative that I'm a nasty individual and to try and tear me down day in, day out. That is what you have done to me. And I'm not gonna have it anymore because I've just stayed silent. So a year ago, I had people reach out to me off of TikTok, okay? Terminally ill women that was at end of life that come to me. Where's this terminally ill person? Where's this terminally ill person? Hmm? Receipts. And another creator on this app and say... I want these two people that are scammed. I encourage them to do a live, but they won't. They've been begging me not to talk about this, the situation. Are we still talking? I don't say their names. Oh, the situation. Yeah, because it's my truth. Because you nearly took something from me that I loved over bullshit. You know, they still wanted to be my friend, right? And I told them under no circumstances, no. I said, no, I ain't doing it. I don't want to be your friend. Then they turned again. Yeah, this was after I was outed. Because I wanted Zach to latch onto my platform. Okay, has been taking money off me, telling me that I'll get this money back. He had done this to terminally ill oh, people. Oh, by the so way, he... everyone got paid back. Can I just say that? And they were getting paid back. I just got myself into a struggle. I wasn't getting, I wasn't keeping my wages because I was paying them back. Which in turn was getting me in more debt. If they were any type of friends, and I still talk to all my other friends that I borrowed money to in that era as well. Yeah, if they were any type of friends, they would have helped me get the help. To women that was at end of life, okay? They were told that they're no longer going to be here. And he thought it was okay <sighs> to treat them as cash cows, take money for them in the promise that he was going to give them back and he never done it. He never just done that. He scammed charities. He sat on the weekly rankings, said he's going to make a numerous amount. Do you know what I said? Do you know where this charity thing comes from? I sat there and I said, I want to do the weeklies. I want to do stuff. I want to set the bar. Um, I want to give back, keep some for myself and give back and give some to charity. I got banned like an hour after doing that. And I'd never done it again. And then I'd done it like two weeks after. That's a narrative. That's taking something I've said and running with it and creating it into something that's it's totally not. You know, I would never take off a charity. That is the biggest, scummiest thing to do. Tens of thousands of pounds, apparently it was. Fuck off. Do me a favour. Oh. ...of money, and they're going to go to charity. Hey, guys, this is what I'm here to do. Because I've stayed quiet, I've let things unfold, I've sit the fuck back, and I've allowed people to tear me the fuck down to the point, like I've just, just said, I don't want to come in here. Listen, and you lot don't know the half of it. And, you know, if I get upset tonight, it's not because I'm weak. Best no, it's not because I'm weak. It's because these people have tried their utmost best to destroy my mental health. Before I even get into this, this is now um, been taken to the police. Because if it wasn't, I, I'm going to be... So what are the police going to say? No, Mimi. Real with you, okay? You don't want that old mama Kaz. I'd have jumped into the nearest fucking Uber oh. and would be at me, attack me, attack me. In such a sly, not charities. He sat on the weekly rankings. Said he's gonna make a numerous amount of money and they're gonna go to charities, which he never done. Okay. Again, I want receipts. He sits there and he's trying to drag me down, call me a scammer when you are a known scammer, okay? And it was only a year ago. I'm a known scammer by this bunch of people who decided to put that out on live by two people that were spicy that were they were no longer sat um, at my table, all done out of spite. Yeah. And these other two people have been harassing me still for the last year. Yeah. Everywhere. The mo watching my lives on fake accounts. They'll be watching it now. Hi, you two. Hi, you two. Um, they'll be watching it now. And the moment I have an opinion of someone that I dislike, big up Mama Kaz for the Mama Kaz. Um, so, what was it? Oh, let her, let her be here. Let her be here. Guys, all follow Mama Kaz. Show us some love. She's a small creator. Um, what was I going to say? So, these two people, yeah, um, the moment I fall out with someone, they'll be straight following them straight away, straight in their chat. Wherever there's a negative Zach the Brat connotation, they'll be there. Yeah, they'll be there. 
You're out of your depth with this one, by the way, Kaz. Shut yourself right in the foot, sweetheart. Your Go, turn, next. That not one person on this app liked you because of the disgusting, disgraceful person you are. Stop comparing people. You're far up there with Diadro and this one and that one. You are fucking far up there with the rest of these cunts. Because what you man, have done, you. in my opinion, okay, and you've managed to emotionally manipulate and twist 99% of the viewers into thinking, oh my God, oh, I'm, God I'm good, and I? And I'm good. Positive person. The thing is, if I was this massive, awful person, I wouldn't still have these people around me. I wouldn't still have these people around me. I wouldn't have these people that's still in my life that have supported me. Sweetheart, what are you having a nervous breakdown for? No. That swings around my, sh my sage and put on my fucking wig and I'm so nice. You're not no nice person. Anyone that can, that can um, extract money from terminally ill people that are Who's no longer going to be with us, okay? Promise to give them back to the point that they ended up in, in arrears, into, into a situation when they couldn't even eat, okay? You are disgusting, all right? And let's not talk about you messaging people, oh, can I have 50 pounds for a fucking- That's not the truth, is it, Mama Kaz? Come on now. Kebab. What fucking sort of kebab are you going to be buying me £50? Let me tell you. Do you what know what? I, I said, can I, I need some money for some gas electric. Can, go on, can I have some extra for a kebab? Oh, God, shoot me. Has no one ever borrowed money off their friends? Piss off. Only a few weeks ago that you sat on here and said you're going to give away Beyonce tickets that you never fucking gave either. So don't come at me. And do you know why I didn't give away? Because the person in question who I was meant to have scammed wanted me to fix the competition. And... Where and I, I hold my hand where I was so trying to please everybody and just trying to make things better. I had stupidly agreed to it, right? And listen, and then a couple of days went by. She was hounding me. Have you done the draw yet? Have you done the draw yet? And then I just sat there and I was like, it clicked. And I, I was a mess at this point. And it clicked. And I was like, hold on. She's telling everyone I'm a scammer and now she wants me to do a giveaway and fix it. That's scamming. So I text her. I was like, I ain't doing it. No. Like, I'm just going to pull a name out of the hat. Whatever happens, happens. And, oh, my God, she went psychopath. Um, so I pulled the name out of the hat, and it was the person that I'd agreed to fucking, what's it, give the tickets to. And I just said, I can't do this. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. Absolutely pulling it. I'm not doing it. Do you know what I'm saying? I know only about four or five people had gifted, and those four or five people I spoke to and sorted it out with and explained to them, and they were absolutely fine with it. They understood do you know what I mean? So how the fuck am you going to sit there and call, tell people I'm a scammer, but want me to s fix the giveaway? Make it make sense. You're right. You've come on this app, Big and unfortunately, Thank this happens else. time and time again, okay? When individuals get way too big for their boots, And right? this person in question that I was meant to have scammed, I'd be on live, right? Trying to sort stuff out. Text you. I'm like, I'm busy. Come off live. Like, it was so controlling. It was like being in... And one of them relationships on my mum, on, on, honestly, Bible, swear down, on my mum's grave. It was terrible. You're following, listen, I've done it. I've been here and I've done this, darling. So you want to sit here and say you're an OG. Let's remember where you came from. You was a fan. Starbucks. I came from Starbucks after appearing on Lad Bible, Jimmy Kimmel, ITV, the first three Harry Potters. I've carved a name out for myself on my own. Before you little nitnits come along begging, doing fuck all with the cash. Man, right? That went and harassed CLA when she was at her lowest, right? When she was sectioned in a mental health institution and you took it upon yourself to go with an ex-carer, okay? So she wasn't financially abused, which was what I thought was happening at the time. My interests were good. I had good interests. My No, my intentions. My intentions, that's it. My intentions were there. Okay, to, um, that she no longer talks to to stand outside a mental health place for attention. So let's remember who you are, darling. Let's remember that you was a fan of me and everyone else. A yeah? fan of so you? I've never been a fan of you. Our beef started three years ago when I called you out for being a beg. A fan. Oh, have you ever heard anything? <laughs> Bombastic side eye. Criminal offensive side eye. Eh! Worst rumour I've ever heard about myself. Ever. Where you came from. Fuck the scamming. I've never been a fan. <laughs> 
energy for anything fucking else, right? So let's get that one thing. Let's get that clear for now, yeah? And you can get blocked, yeah? And do you know what? You think you're so big and bad. Talk to me. Come and chat to me. Let's see Pick if you've got Jamie, the same energy. Because you, well. you've been wanting this. I did get in that box and I could get a word in edgeway. And I kept myself so calm, cool and collective, okay? But you've wanted this. So I'm going to bring back that fucking mama cares that all of you want to shit, shit on about and talk shit about. And I'm going to go there with you, darling. I'm going to make sure I go there with you, okay? Because you had enough energy to talk to that person that dressed up as me yesterday and say all this shit to them. Shout out was- to Dead Wings. Can I just say Dead Wings is a creep? creative genius dead wings is a creative genius that merely plays a character and on people's traits he's done absolutely nothing wrong so justice for dead wings please gonna sit there and stay silent how much was you gonna try and antagonize me how much was you gonna try and nibble at me to stay fucking shut just to keep my mouth shut i don't care if you keep my mouth shut you are in a fucking collective you are in a collective so like i said a year ago yeah you was found out for taking money off people with the false pretense that you was going to be in EastEnders, which you weren't ever going to be in EastEnders, oh, okay? That you was going to be bomb. this big superstar, gaslighted vulnerable people to extract money from them, which they gave you and you never gave it back. Because of that, okay? That's a lie. Of, someone was hurting and they came on live and exposed you for what the person you was, okay? You have had a personal vendetta against me ever since. Because you cannot get over what? the guilt and the... Do you know what? Because you nearly destroyed my platform over bullshit because you didn't know the full story. Same with Miss Red. Same with everyone else involved. Person that you are, okay? Because you wanted hot news, you wanted hot tea, you wanted to look like the hero. But that was the worst thing you lot could have done because you know it was all bullshit. I've been patient. Your face screams guilt. The post that you have posted all these past couple of weeks screams guilt. Oh, who's going to expose me? Who's going to expose me? If you've got nothing to worry about, sweetheart. Because right? I knew it was coming. I wanted to let you know. I mean, I knew it was coming. <laughs> They're so like, not even discreet, man. Why are you panicking so much? Because you are an absolute disgrace. You are, an, you are disgusting. You are a bully. You're a horrible person, okay? So that's, so that's how it began. A year ago, me and another creator exposed Zach the Rat for who he was, okay? She really she can't pronounce her beans, people, can she? Extracting money out of them. Behind the scenes, and I believe this is someone else... Do you know what? Come- someone that I, I, I see as... Like a parent figure who was there at a very... I was very vulnerable at the time. Do you know what I mean? I'd I'd nearly lost my life. Legit. And this was someone who came along with open arms and made me believe that nothing was a problem. You know, it's not taking advantage. It was taking an olive branch and trying to fix my life. But in fact, they just made it worse. Literally. Back to say what they want to say... I was, and someone else was emotionally manipulated emotionally and basically put in a situation, if we don't shut our mouths, then this person's going to do something to themselves. How hypocritical is that, Zach? How hypocritical is that? Because She's on about ma- the picture I sent to Miss Red. I never told Miss Red I was going to do something to myself. I was begging Miss Red to get everyone to stop talking. Why? Because it was a load of bullshit and not how it was made out to be. And do you know what? I genuinely loved my platform. I loved my platform and I loved what I did. <laughs> And I wasn't like these nitnits. I wasn't like these idiots. And I, I had such good following. I had great lives. And it was the one thing that I loved. And they were destroying it through bullshit. Like they were destroying it through bullshit. And I was begging Miss Red, stop them. It ain't how it is. It's not how it is. Oh, how do we know? How do we know that he's not lying about getting sections? How do I fucking know? There's the fucking pictures. Have that. Stop it. One day you're going to have blood on your hands. That weren't a threat that I was going to do something to myself. That was, help me, help me, because this is not how it's painted out to be. It's not. And they took the one thing that I loved and shat all over it. Shat all over it. Destroyed whatever people thought of me at the time. And over time, people came back because they saw it for what it was. That's how dangerous and nasty this group is. And that's including Miss Red.
making me feel. Look how you're dragging my sneaky. mental health down. Look how you're tearing me down. Talk dehumanizing me, telling me I'm not female, telling me I'm not a trans woman, okay? When surely you've had to struggle in the LGBT community being you are, being who you are. So no, never, because I'm not a prick. And I've got sausage lips, mocking the way I look, playing white chicks and saying I, I, you, I remind you of them. You refer to the me It's laugh. It's the laugh. Ah ha ha ha. Man, okay? And I'm going to play you something around. as well, right? Now, quickly another thing, dead wings. Hilarious, okay? I absolutely found it hilarious that you have the creative initiative, the creative, the creativity. Uh, creative initiative. That's the word you're looking for. And the initiative to be able to act out certain people. I'm not one of these people that don't see humour in things. Mrs. But Fair, now, bigger. whether you think this is funny or not, whether you like me or not, no one can tell me what's hurt and what's, what's not upset me, right? No one can tell me that. But do you think this is funny? Do you think it's funny to drag up my past, to drag up what I've gone through, right? Because I've stayed silent. Do you know how many people go through hardship in relationships? Okay, and I made one I've been one of them people as well. Mistake by coming on here and sharing my business. But I didn't use that to emotionally manipulate my audience. I left. Year and a bit down the line, you're still with him and very much in love. Me and the devil. Does everyone remember that one? Standing side by side. Is, but you want to drag up my trauma But when it's done to you You want to fucking sit there and cry And act like you're the victim You ain't no victim in this You've never been a victim in any of this you Nah, I'm a fucking survivor And I got through the other side of dealing with your lot bullshit Absolutely ugly, disgusting human being Right, with your collapsed fucking nose And your gums that are about to explode Because of how much you sip on that fucking straw How about that bitch? Yeah, how about that bitch? Does that feel fucking nice? Dragging people down, dragging... No, because I'm not insecure. their looks down having to team up with an absolute disgrace evil queen which you are doing behind the scenes can i just say me and evil queen's text messages and whatever are very few and far between actually we give each other space we don't find each other a threat we don't feel the need to fucking pull strings and stuff because we have our own voice we're two completely different personalities what goes on, but don't project on what you guys do behind the scenes. Because let me tell you now, there was a big, what's it? There was a big, um, what's the word? A big um, phone call, 100% yesterday. 100%. 100%. In a twisted narrative, you have sat for the past two weeks playing clips of me, okay, posting videos on an account that you own, all right, in order to create a twisted narrative. That's not FYP. That is bullying. That's not F... That is bullying, right? Creating um, your own TikTok account, okay, posting videos of me on because you think you're so smart, but I know what I know, and I know what is you and what is not you. You okay? don't know me. This is where you think me, you're shush. smart, and I'm always one step ahead, all right? And you thought I was going to keep my mouth shut. I don't give two fucks what you think you've got on me. I don't care no more, right? We can fight fire with fucking fire. How many people have you bullied on this app? Lucy, swearing shepherdess, okay? G crew, so many people misread. You waited for her to fuck off to Tenerife to start running your mouth because what are you, Zach the fuck? No, I just literally merely had an opinion and told my truth. It wasn't till she was away on holiday. I'm not that calculated. I don't really care. Do you know what I mean? I don't really care. I literally mentioned it off the back of Pearl. Because people were asking me opinions. I don't sit on the fence and I'm not biased. If people are going to sit there and ask me questions in the chat, I'm going to answer them. Fucking rat. I don't care. You are a little holiday. rat that goes around nibbling at others and then you scurry away back to your fucking hole. Because that's the person you are. You ain't got no front. You ain't got no fucking balls. You ain't got nothing about you. Talking about you've got no soul. I've got no passion. I'm not invested as you. I wasn't a fan like you was. 
Right, I came on here being original. I don't sit here day in and day out hoping that I'm going to get on the rankings. I've been there and I've fucking done it. And you want to try... I mean, you lot have been watching me, like, for the last year now, you know. <laughs> I don't need to explain nothing. Degrade me. Oh, mama cat sitting at 1001. I come in here three days a week because I choose to. But best fucking believe I've got a community that will always love me, all right, because I've spoken my truth. Sit there going, mama cat never puts up a treasure box. Fuck off! Yeah, you're Why tight, are you even bitch. talking about mum and has never put up <laughs> treasure boxes? What, because people gift you and you exchange them coins and put them up as a treasure box? Treasure box. It's not coming from you, sweetheart. It's coming from the community that are stupid enough to not see like the how ones you that pay for your weed. All right. You are a disgusting human being and support you. But do you know what? Do you know what? One thing, Zach the Rat, when you get to a certain point and you get so fucking high, right? Because you think you're sitting so fucking high up in that castle. Mm. Do you know how hard it is when you... Marities, he's sat on the week... Oh. A certain point and you get so fucking high, right? Because you think you're sitting so fucking high right, up in that castle. Right, let me just go for a wait. Do you know Watch how this. hard it is when you fall fucking down? Do you know how hard <laughs> it is and how, and how much it's going to hurt when you fall the fuck back? down because how high you think you're fucking sitting right now we can go to war because you fucking wanted war do your worst say your worst but best fucking believe all right there is so much and so many people that you have affected often on this app that are ready to speak out about you right there are so many creators right now now, on the edge of their seats, okay, ready to fucking rinse the fuck out of you. So don't for one minute oh. sit there that you're thinking you're sitting there with this team and you're all safe and you're all nice and you're all, oh my God, uh, you've done nothing wrong. You've done more than enough wrong. You've done more than enough wrong. And I'm not going to feel silence and like I can't speak anymore. So like I said, a year ago, you was outed because you scammed and manipulated oh. emotionally black men. Guys, um, there's more videos to come of um, Alex and Miss Red and stuff. Um, I'm going to have to restart because I've just had a warning. So make sure you come back because it ain't over. I literally will be two seconds. Two seconds. Because this is what happens to me on a regular basis. The moment someone starts talking, they rally around the troops. They rally around the troops. Actually, let me put this down. Because then that'll be fine. Out people that were at the end of life and extorted money out of them, which you never gave back. So three. someone asked me that was too afraid to come and do it for themselves to back them. So I did that. Since that day, you haven't had an agenda against me. Do not push your guilt out on me. All right, and. Like I said, dead wings yesterday. Some of you may have thought that that was hilarious. I thought that was hilarious, mm. okay? But let me tell you something about that as well. Thanks dead so wings never sat there and thought, okay, the next person I'm gonna do is Mama Kaz. Zach the Rat sat there and said, dead wings, I will call you off the live. Make sure you do Mama Kaz next and I've got information, private- I didn't give him information. I just gave him some creative direction. I said it would be better to do Mama Kaz than Miss Red because you've got more to work with than Mama Kaz. There's only so much you can do with Miss Red. Information, okay, from hateful people that no longer like me anymore or no longer want to support me anymore for whatever reason because, again, they've been emotionally manipulated, right? Like you've done to other people's supporters. How is me sitting here listening to Beyonce on repeat emotional manipulation? Please to get them on your side for the weekly rankings. Okay, then. And so how many times? I've today. had three weeks off. I had three weeks off. I've hardly done the fucking week, please. Jesus Christ, projection. Wings. And you spoke about my past. You spoke about the fact that I was in a situation with, my, with my partner. Okay? And that I had holes in my walls. You spoke about the trauma and the, and, and the turmoil that I was did. at that time. Mocked me, right? It's all over the, the FYP. Do you know what? That Oscar winning performance. Have you seen the holes in my walls? The holes in my walls.
out of me yesterday to the point I never wanted to be here. Now, like I said, we can all have a laugh and a joke. And I thought what Dead Wings done was creative and funny and I laughed, okay? But it wasn't for a joke. It was to drag me down. It was to bully me. It was Love to harass show. me and to make me feel so horrible in myself. So I'm going to play you this clip. Right, and like I said, we can all have a bit of fun, but is this funny? Right, guys, I'm going to restart and then I'm going to continue because I'm getting mass reported. Um, it's going to happen. As Oprah would say, were you silent or were you silenced? Give me two seconds. <laughs> 